from the edge of your eye to the edge of your brow, the inside line is from the edge of your brow to the point of your line, so, or the point of your eye. I did fill my eyebrows with um, Infatuated, um, which is one of our pigments as well, one of the matte pigments. Um, I don't use a brow filler, I just use pigment. I use it on the tip of my brush and just fill it in um, because my brows are kind of uneven. <laughs> so as you can see, it filled it in. I'm sorry about the horrible lighting, and as I get closer, it makes it worse. So I have the base of the white all over my eye. I'm going to do one eye just for time. Um, but you would want to apply it to both um, typically. So that was actually used, um, I used my crease brush for that just for the all over application. And then I'm going to, this is my white brush. I keep all my light colors on one brush. So if that helps you any. Um, this is my deluxe brush. And this is the one I'm going to use to do the dark, which is going to be the corrupt. Um, and I just have all the pigments sitting down here in front of me. Um, and you're going to get, like when you stick your brush in, you get all of this on there. You don't want all that to go on your eyes. So you want to take your cap and just kind of like mash it down in there so that it just leaves you with a very fine, a fine coat on your brush. You don't want to take it to your eye with all that loose, with it being black. And don't blow your brush because it does separate the bristles and it ruins the effect of the brush. So hopefully you can see me. And what I do is I just take the point right at the corner of my eye and just round it up. And then I just keep pushing it and I just fill it in and make like a moon shape on the end of my eye and into my crease. And as you can see, some of that can, the dark powder fell on my eye or on my cheek and I will get that off. Um, it's very, very versatile, so it's not going to cause a problem. But as you can see, I'm just chasing um, my brow. I'm actually pushing the brush into my crease to make that deep look so it almost looks like somebody punched me in my eye at this point but that is going to be the base of my smoky look so now what i'm going to do i have to blow a little bit just, is just kind of brush that off my eye right there um and then i will fix that towards the end um so that is going to be the dark um which is the corrupt and then what i do is just take my whichever brush you prefer to use, but the one I'm using is my liner and shader brush, um, and then I dip it into the Frisky, which is the gray. Again, when you dip it in, it's a pigment, so it's gonna pick up all of this. You don't need all that. So tap it back in there, or use your cap and brush it. Um, give me one second. So you just want a very fine coat of the pigment. Um, and then you just take it on the tip of your eye. And I just do from like the inside of my eye, like the halfway point on your eyelid over to the inside point. And when you're putting on makeup, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I know you see stuff in magazines and on the pictures that I post. You don't have to like have perfect lines. That's what makes makeup so fun. Um, I've kind of been doing makeup for a long time. Um, I went to cosmetology school in high school and then I've just always played with my makeup so I kind of taught myself but that is my most simple eyeshadow uh, smoky on the top. Okay so I have the highlight at the top and then I have the dark and then I also put the gray on the inside but I'm not happy with the gray. It didn't show up dark enough for me <laughs> so I'm going to go in one more time with it. Picking up a little bit more pigment and still in the eye, just halfway. And then I'm just going to brush it over the black a little bit. As you can see, it's hitting my face. Like, that's completely normal. It's going to do that. You're not um, going to leave it there, obviously, but you're going to do that. So now my, my gray is a little bit bolder. And then I'm going to go back to my black brush, and I'm just going to blend that back out. So you get the full smoky look. So now if you look, half my eye is gray and half of my, oh, the lights. Half of my eye is gray and half of it's black, but it's blended. It's a natural, well, it's not really natural to have a black eye, but you know what I mean. So anyhow, so that's that. So then you want to do underneath because you can't leave that open. So I'm going to use um, the liner shader brush on this side. 
Um, right now I'm using it dry. I didn't put any uh, rose water or anything in it, but I'm just going to pick up some shadow. Um, I'm not someone who really likes a lot under my eye, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do it. So you just take the corrupt on the tip and just fill in your lash line right on the bottom. And I have not gotten any precision eyeliner pencils yet, so I'm waiting for that. But So, there's your liner on the bottom. And then I go back to my white. I should still have some on there, and I'm just going to brush it all under my eye. It's not in any, any rhyme or reason form um, with that. Just make sure it's white. And I'm actually going to seal kind of a concealed look. That's too much. See what I'm talking about? You got to make sure you tap it. I didn't tap it. You see that big spot right there? But the good thing is that it can all be blended. So you just take it back up and blend out if you have too much. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. So now I have all this eyeshadow on my face that I don't need. So I have this little face brush. I haven't gotten my face brushes yet, but I'm just going to go and dust that off. And then I'm going to go behind it with my, uh, my sponge that I used to put on my foundation. And I'm just going to clean that up some. And it will help to seal the look around your eye by doing that. Um, you can use concealer, you can use, you know, pretty much whatever you want as far as that's concerned. Um, there it is. I oh, picked it up on the first time. That doesn't ever happen. Um, and what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of my concealer, the frivolous. Um, it's brushed on here. And just go around. Please excuse my ghetto little powder brush, but it works for me right now until my face brushes come in. Whew, sorry about that. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see that. The lighting in here is awful. But that is my smoky look. Now, if you want to be more dramatic with it, I actually like it better right here in front of me. Um, sorry. This is more difficult than I thought it would be. You can take the black or the corrupt and just make a better point right there on the side. And kind of take it in at the top of your eye. And then... It'll be a little bit more defined. So I'm gonna set this back down because I gotta put my mascara on and it's not gonna work. Okay, so now how I put on my 3D fiber lashes to get that fabulous look that you guys always ask me about. Um, I take the two products here. You got the um, the gel, I'm sorry, the transplanting gel and then you have the fibers. Um, and some, I'm almost out, so I'm gonna tap it. Just tap it, close it, turn it upside down, and tap it, and your fibers will fall. And then you'll pull more out when you pull it out. So this gel is just like a mascara. Like, um, it's wet, really wet um, and thicker than a mascara, and it dries a little bit tighter. Um, so it's not a mascara, but you can apply it like one. And I don't put a base of mascara on my eye. So I'm going to get close. Hopefully this works. I'm trying to look in the mirror and let y'all see me at the same time. So what I do is just put... One little coat on my eyes, like normal mascara, just on the top, and a little bit down below. And then I kind of, I don't like really long lashes at the bottom, so I just kind of put the down there to give it the darker appearance. So I just put a normal coat on there, and then I let that set for a minute just to let it dry a little bit. And then I'll go behind it with more gel. And just do as best I can to get as much as I can at the tips. Like going back and forth like this. All the way to the outside. Work it, work it, work it. And then I go behind it real easy and I pull my lashes out. Alright, so now they're nice and wet. So then you flip over to the fibers. You see the fibers on the brush? Oh, focus camera, there we go. So you just put them on like regular mascara, but don't go all the way to the base of your eyelashes because it will get in your eye. Um, and I have in contacts right now, by the way, so 
These are safe to wear with contacts. And then you just put a little bit on the back. And if you notice, they already look fuller. And fibers are going to fall on your face. Um, I mean, if you have like thousands of them falling, then you've used too much. Um, but you're going to have fibers fall. It just happens. Um, so there's just gel and fibers. Now, it doesn't look super dramatic or anything, but even looking at that eye right now compared to that eye, it's super dramatic. I haven't sealed it with the gel. I always let this eye sit. Typically what I'll do is go back to this eye. I'm always right to left, right to left. So typically I would have shadow on this eye too. But um, so while this side sets with gel and just the fibers so that the fibers will attach to the gel, I'll go do the same thing with this eye. So then now that that's set, I'll come back with more gel and just seal the deal. Always applying as far to the tip as I can, stretching the lashes out, going behind it and pulling the fibers as why and how. And you have to be really careful with this because it will get all over your eyelid. Um, but that's how I get the length. So now I've sealed those fibers. Sorry, bear with me. I'm a little OCD, so it has to look good or I'm not going to show you. Okay, so we got the that layer sealed, and that's basically start to finish one full 3D fiber lash mascara. So nothing like super super dramatic but definitely a big difference and I got a fiber right there oh shoot sorry about that I'll get that in a minute um <clears throat> so there's the first layer so I don't stop there <clears throat> I don't stop there at all sorry that's gonna bug me I have to get that off of there okay then I go back to with my gel and I just started the middle of my lash and just focus at my tips, 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 tips. Actually tip in the tips a little bit. And if you notice, my brush is just slightly bent. I did do that on purpose. Because right there in the corner of my eye, my eyes are really narrow, so the brush wasn't getting in there. So now the tips are nice and juicy. Back to the fibers. And this one you want to twist and pull, not just pump it because it won't pick any up. And then you just, right at the tip, all the way across, front and back. And just brush them, brush them. Sorry, my camera is doing all kinds of screwy crap, but. All right. So, more fibers. See them sticking there? All that will go away once I put more gel on it. But look how long they are. I can see. Boom. So, let that set for a minute. And then go back in. Same thing. As far up to the tip as you can get. At this point, I'm applying gel primarily to just the fibers. The fibers that have attached to my natural lash and it's extending them. So I'm just sealing it um, with the gel. So then I'm going to go on the back real gently. Pull the fibers. Pull the fibers. And then just keep playing with it until you get them where you like them to be as far as look. Now, I don't have my hair dryer with me right now, but typically after they set for a few minutes, I would get my hair dryer and blast these babies on medium or on, I'm sorry, warm, low, and it will curl the mess out of your lashes and they'll be like, Phew. so, <laughs> um, but 